tip your ear for Let's a moment? Let's get a second opinion, shall we? Walter and I were just discussing the expenses incurred during the attack. No, I was explaining that there's nothing to discuss. It's been taken care of. It seems that Walter has taken it upon himself to cover the costs of the repairs to both the Lodge and the Eye. As well as any expenses relating to the... to the funeral services. Sam was a good man. It's the least I could do. Well, it's not about looking for thanks. I just... it needed to be done, that's all. Well, I can't thank you enough, Walter. Sarah, I know we argue about money all the time. Most of it is in jest, but occasionally it's not. This is the one way I can best contribute to our work. It has been and continues to be an honor to do so. And when this is all over, we can go back to squabbling about minor expenses. But it was important to me that I do this. Fair enough. Well, since we're already talking about this, there is one more thing I'd like to do for Sam, and I'd like to get your opinion. Nothing extravagant, just a small plaque here in the lodge. Something to remember them by. Where do you think would be appropriate? <laughs> That's certainly some place everyone will see it. Any objections, Walter? No. I think this is a fine idea. Then it's settled. I'm glad we had this discussion. And now, perhaps we can try and move on. Yes. I think that's right. Hmm? Oh, sorry. I was just doing some math in my head. Trade the gabs with you. Ah, it'll be a shame to pack up all the modifications to the eye for finding the artifacts. Aye, I'll drink to that. I'll be taking up the chair when everyone's gone in the Unity. Set Constellation's course for another new beginning. Not my first time at the helm for a crew, but going to take it slow. Tell you the secret wise of a retired fleet member. There's a way things end. Have to see that before time and luck catches up. Well, tipped your ear long enough. I'll be smiling as you walk through Eternity's Gate. Give the next universe something to talk about, yeah? Always knew we could pull this off. Finally, these new universes won't know what hit them. Forget about the Starborn and the Hunter. It's Barrett and company from here on out. I suppose we can do that. Classic. Look, if this is the are we doing this or not talk, then stop right there. We're doing this. The multiverse waits for... Yeah, that's why I said it first. See you on the other side. Never regretted coming out of retirement. Constellation's got the writ of the righteous. Keeps me Let's young. Chat. So I know we aren't keeping all the artifacts here anymore, but I think I can get some good re You have no idea how excited I am to analyze the data after you jumped. It could be both. One can't happen without the other, right? Anyway, Vladimir and I have been talking, and we're both staying here. It'll be pretty quiet at first, but... Okay, I promised myself I wouldn't cry. <laughs> There's nothing like an investment paying off. We've succeeded beyond my wild... Oh no. This moment, although there's always... Alas, well, I would like to take the final... 
There might not be a Stroud Eklund in the next unit. You see, that's a bad lesson to teach. Goodbye, my friend. If there is something I can do, look after yourself, hmm? This is all exciting, but take care of yourself. to me like you've already in I'm sure you can find something Conversational pro. Goodbye. Any adventure you can fly away from. Is, is that how the saying goes? Do you need anything? Go 
your clothes, your boots polished, your mirror. Just here for a chat? Hey, how's it going? What do you need, boss? Uh, some other time, then. the United Colonies is paying close attention. Heaven forbid something escape or notice. Good to see you. Hello. So long, Dusty. Do you need me for something? Be safe. I've never quite been able to think of New Atlantis as home. Oh, I suppose I should. Well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged in.
wise and formidable captain. I'm listening. You made it. I hope you're enjoying the view. I never get tired of staring at it. Eternity. A thought occurs. Can anyone ever truly experience reality outside of oneself? All of time and space filters through a singular perspective. I am as much you as you are a part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or die, I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? Fair. I wonder what your decision will be then. In order to become Starborn, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. That intangible part of you. That something that makes you unique amongst the infinite will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe, while another part leaves it behind forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever, even as you leave it behind. Unknowingly, you just answered your own questions. For who creates things but creators? That is what they have been named throughout the endless circle of time. Are they one or many? Human or alien? Terrestrial or celestial? One day you might even meet the creators, but not this day. As for the why, so that you could ask that very question, so that you could stand before me for time immemorial and delve into the mysterious of the unending cosmos.
Much like the death of a star creates new kinds of matter, so will the part of your being become fused with the unity itself. That part is what becomes starborn and crosses into the multiverse. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Walk into the gate of light and you will become starborn. Everything will vanish and you will awaken somewhere else. But that isn't your only potential destiny. You can turn around, walk away from the unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your own ship. In your universe, you could live out the life you have. I have enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. Every version that is here in the unity, right now. Go out into the stars. As you consider stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving. As the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time. this one.